there and Pop Tipsters, Paul Valancourt here, and today I want to talk to you about failure. It's part of the game, man. It's it's not fun necessarily when you're going through it, but it is an important, integral part of the artistic process. If you are not failing, that means you're not challenging yourself. That means you're only doing the things you already know how to do. All right, and as Viola Spolin said, and I said it recently in a video, um, you know, creativity is not just the clever rearranging of the known. We have to be delving deeper than that. We have to be seeing like, what else? What do we not know? What have we not done before? And some of that's going to succeed and some of that's going to fail. And that's what makes, to me, that's what makes improv exciting is that any team on any night can succeed and do the best show in the world or they could fail. But you know what? You don't die. Fear of failure is fear of death. Fear of failure is fear of death. But I'll tell you what, I've done thousands of shows, literally thousands of shows, many of them great, many of them terrible, and not once has the audience ever taken up arms, charged the stage, and tried to kill us. It just doesn't happen. It may feel like death, it may feel like, oh man, this is the worst possible thing, but you know what? That leads me to a saying that I say to myself that I think about all the time. You either win or you learn. You win or you learn. In that great successful show, that's awesome, man. But you know what the notes are? Hey, great. Do that again. But you know what? In that show that wasn't as great, that show where you made mistakes, where you failed maybe, well, that's the show that you can learn the most from. And that's where you really move forward. You were stretching out. You were trying something new. You were expanding your horizons. And you learned some lessons, and you're going to be able to do it more next time. You know? I mean, that's, that's what's really great about it. I mean, uh, look, I'll tell you this. Like, I've as I said, done a bunch of shows and, and, and one show that stands out to me in particular regarding failure is when I was in college, we, uh, one of the people on our team was, um, working at a homeless shelter. They're working at a homeless shelter. So they got us to come and do a show for these homeless people after they would have dinner and then we would do a show for them. And that was kind of the, the arrangement, right? But as we were doing our show, these homeless people, booed us off stage. Homeless people booed us off stage. So let me just put, put a really fine point on it. Homeless people had something better to do than watch our show. But you know what? I didn't die. I learned a lot. You know, and when I was in Chicago just starting out and we would do shows and, you know, your first shows are like up and down. They're great and then they're terrible and they're great and then they're terrible. But when I would, uh, after the show, good or bad or whatever, I would walk home. I'd take a few minutes to myself to think back and reflect on like, what about that show worked? What about that show was awesome? What about that show could be better? What could I have done differently? You know, and, and by doing that, I feel like that's how I really progressed. That's how I l really learned. Like I learned obviously from the notes that I got from my coach. I learned from doing the shows. I learned from class, of course, all of that stuff. But, but that idea of, of self-reflection, of, of looking back and reflecting on those failures, um, was really instructive to me, really important to my progress as an improviser. But just to, just to put the, the final spin on that, don't beat yourself up about it. You know, when I first started improvising, I got the, this list of ideas about improv called the Herald Guidelines. You may have seen it online somewhere. Um, but one of, the, one of the Herald Guidelines is, and I'm paraphrasing here, is that improv is the ultimate toilet paper art. You just pull off a sheet, and then you're done, and you throw it away, and you're on to the next thing. You know what? It's, we're, we're not capturing it on video, generally. We're not capturing it on film. It's not, like, it's not etched in stone. It's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a snowman, man. It's there for the time that it's there, and then it melts away, and it's gone like it was never there. Right? And that's also, incidentally, for the great shows. They were there, and they were great, but then guess what? They're gone. So the only thing you really have is your continued commitment and pursuit of the process. Right? And as I've said before... The product is the process. The product is the process. The product is not the shows. The product is the whole process, your whole journey with improv. That's the product. Okay? One final thing. Um, I know that it's tough when a show doesn't go the way you wanted. I talked about it a little bit in this video. Ding, ding, here. But, um, you know, the thing I tried to keep in mind, even when I was like, oh, God, that show was terrible, was that we get to do this. We get to do it. We don't have to do it. No one has a gun forcing us to improvise. 
right? We get to do this. We get to get up in front of people. Often people have paid money, right? We get to get up in front of them and show them what we've learned. We get to share this thing that we love. We get to share this, this special uh, snowflake of a moment with them, right? Keep that in mind. And whatever that moment is, you know, value it as a, as, as a singular moment in time, all right? Let me know what you think. How do you deal with shows that don't go as well as you would like or failures or, or bumps along the way? Let me know what you think in the comments ding, ding, down below. All right, and I'll see you next week. Hey friends, thanks for checking out the video. And uh, if you wanna hear a little bit more, check out one of these two quality videos. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links are in the description down below. And let me know what you would like to see an improv tip about. Thanks for watching.